Hello! So I just literally just got done filming the review for the Angel Cards. And today we are going to be working with the Moonology deck. So welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing the Moonology Oracle cards. So I do not have the box for these cards anymore. Um, most of the reviews I do from this point forward, I will not have the box. Um, in some cases, like this one, I do remember that the box was a pull-apart, solid, good quality box. But as I've mentioned before, I don't keep the boxes. I don't have room for 70-something boxes in my house. Uh, I keep them in bags where I can keep multiple decks together in one bag. And then I put those bags in a basket. Uh, if you want to see how I store my cards, let me know. But until then, let's get into it. So these cards are average size. I'd say this is just about the average size of Oracle cards. Most decks are about right about here with the size. The quality is really nice. Really, really nice quality card stock. The cards are matte. This is the back of the cards, which I love. So we have the different moon phases. Um, this particular card says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, it's not numbered. These are not numbered. I went through and I numbered them myself. If you notice on the bottom, it says 84. It may look backwards on camera, but it says 84. I put that in myself with a metallic marker. So these are not numbered. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about these cards? They shuffle really nicely. They don't stick together. The guidebook is amazing. Um, the deck is by Yasmin Boland. So Yasmin spelt with a Y-A-S-M-I-N, Boland, B-O-L-A-N-D. Artwork by Nynx, N-Y-X, Rowan. R-O-W-A-N. The back of the book says, I'll start to show you some artwork while I read. The Moonology Oracle is a powerful spiritual tool that enables you to attune to the moon and manifest the life you dream of. When you need a clear answer to your question, you have used the cards to invoke a sense of direction and purpose and then take action. 44 cards in the deck. Ask a question or think of your deepest desire, then draw a card to reveal your moon's guidance. At the beginning of the book, you have the table of contents. You have an introduction, what the cards are for, blessing the cards, the wisdom of the moon, the phases of the moon, which I really like. They include a little chart here so that you can see and get a little more information about that. Working with the cards, uh, interpreting the cards, additional meanings, the elements, fire, earth, air, water, gives you a little information about that. Um, Celtic cross spread, a three card spread. These are really traditional spreads. Uh, waning moon, four card spread. And then it goes right into the um, meaning of the cards. So we get a little picture here in the corner and um, some extra guidance in the book. The book is really nice quality. I've had it for a while and it's holding up really nicely. Um, not too surprising. What do you need to release? That's the card that I had already had for myself. These are the cards I've been most recently working with for myself. This card is one I had before I decided to pull these out to do, do this review. So we have You Are Good Enough, Full Moon in Virgo. And I will read from the book in just a minute. I'm going to read a few cards. You're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Show the world the real you. 
a personal issue reach, reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Surrender to the divine, full moon. This is a special card. Let me read what the book says for it. It says, the very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to mind. Agreed? Question mark. I'm just going to actually put these down. But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or turning point. There may be some kind of change and the possibility, even some sort of emotional explosion. Uh-oh. Tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. They're very likely close to the surface, no matter when in the moon cycle you've pulled this card. Matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor. As this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. Attune to the moon. I am getting the answers I need. Additional meanings for this card. A wish you made may be about to come true. It's make or break time. There could be a sense of madness in the air. Breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone to release negative energy. It's time to let go of the past and move on. The full moon marks the climax of the lunar cycle, making this card something of a power card. The full moon is often the time when answers are given to questions asked during the new moon, and pulling this card at any time in the lunar cycle suggests answers will be coming your way before too long. So fantastic. What do we have here? Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Ooh, I love these two coming up together. Ooh, yes. Okay, which one is this? 112, which for me means it's on page 112. Blue moon. So a blue moon, if I'm correct, and for, uh, forgive me and correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe a moon, a blue moon, can I get myself straight here, is when we have two full moons in one month, which is a rare occurrence. Usually we get one full moon a month. Uh, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe a blue moon is when we have two in one month. As the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well about to be happen. This card is very, this is a very positive sign if you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe. Whatever you are asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. Even if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never be in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. Um, Attune to the moon. I'm lucky. Additional meanings, miss the chance and it might not come back anytime soon. What happened may only happen once. The person you're inquiring about is a rare find. If you can't believe it, you can't achieve it. The situation is unlikely to repeat. Teaching, there are usually three full moons between each equinox and solstice and vice versa. Sometimes though, we get four full moons in a single season. When that happens, a third of the seasons, four full moons called a blue moon, at least that was the original definition of blue moon. These days, it's popular to use the blue moon for the second full moon in any calendar month that has two full moons. Okay, so I was correct. Great. I was hoping so. Um, let's go through the rest of these cards. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon. Another new moon. Wow. Wow. That's incredible, really? Oh, interesting, okay. Uh, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Let me just check that out in the guidebook. This one feels kind of powerful and important. Not that they are all, um, they're all powerful and important, but you know what I mean. Let's see, we have, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. Be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. 
However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason you'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put on the right path. There is nothing to fear. Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. Additional meaning, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted away towards your life's purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. There is an important turning point in your life. New moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's as though you're headed in a one direction, probably being guided by your ego, and then comes the divine spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there's a new moon eclipse happening, when you pull this card, it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnaround. Okay, so let's look at the last of the cards. We have your commitment is being tested. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Be bold, make the first move. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Don't let pride get in your way. Oops. Full moon in Leo. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Meditate and contemplate. A fiery climax approaches. Bring love into the situation. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Fantastic way to end things. Okay, so that's been today's review. Once again, this was the review of the Moonology Oracle cards. Thank you for your time. And until next time, take care and much love.